In this video, we're going to learn how to count the NA values in a data frame in R. So we're starting by loading in this data frame and setting some values to NA. There's 12 NAs here. Now you'll often first notice NAs if you run a summary on a data frame, because when you do that, the NA values will come up under the columns that they're in. In this case, we can see the four NAs in each column. Now, you'll often be working with data frames that maybe have many more rows and columns than this one we're working with, so it won't be very easy to just add them up like we can here. So to get all the NAs in the whole data frame, what you want to do is use the isNA function on the data frame. That makes a logical index over the whole data frame setting the NAs to true and the other values to false. And you simply sum that entire data frame, the logical data frame, because trues evaluate to one. So if you sum up all the trues, that is the count. So we get 12 as the total count, that is correct. And if you want to know how many NAs there are in each row or each column, you simply do the same thing, but you use call sums or row sums to get those totals. So here we get the totals for each column. There are four NAs in each of those. And here we're doing row sums, so we're getting the NAs in each row, and there's three in each of those rows. That's it. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.